Evening all, hope you like that self little picture of me lying on my bed with all my things, my guns, my possessions. Um, it wasn't me, by the way, before you get completely creeped out. I'm much fatter than that. Anyway, we're playing with uh, Hercules Porsche today. He is on a... Um, a, he's joining us on gang. Um, he's not talking, by the way. I should have probably thought to invite him, but um, in, in tribute to him, I need to try and mimic his intro, which is the best intro on YouTube ever. So here goes. <coughs> it's Hercules Porsche, and he's here to play games and something and something. Best intro credits ever. Pause. Yay! Seriously, go watch Hercules' videos. He's funny. He's very funny. He's a good player as well. Um, knows his stuff about the game Faux Show. And um, yeah, basically, just yeah, these are the end times. These are the, the latter days of, uh, of the first movement of Dust. Um, the first chapter of Dust draws to a close and soon becomes the second chapter of uh, Dust called Eve 2.0 Dust Revenant or Eve Revenant calling it now. Um, fun times. Fun times indeed, to be honest with you. This is going to be um, an interesting transition from one game to another. Now I'm racking my brain as I sit here and, and talk through to this weird microphone shaped thing in front of me that um, I can't think of another game that transitioned like this one's going to. So in theory the game's going to die, right? So that's number one. It is going to die. Um, and it's going to be reborn as kind of like a returning game. I can't think of anything in history that's kind of died and returned from the grave to become better than its parts. Nothing really springs to mind. Um, nope, nothing really. Nope, nope. Oh yeah, that's right. There was that that son of God who was brought to earth to redeem his sins or the sins of the people. And he was basically crucified, born on 25th of December crucified basically then returned from the dead um, his name I believe was star child and he is of course the Emperor no I'm kidding um, no that of course you know dust is gonna return to you know basically a concept um, and it's gonna become then another game so I can't get for the life of me I can't think of anything that's done that by the way fun fact the story of Jebus is actually a copy of of another basically messiah who was born about 3,000 years before the birth of Christ. So there you go, it's just a rerun. And I'm not lying, go Google it. It's actually, the, everything to do with Jesus's story is actually a rehash of something that happened about, about 5,000, 4,000 AD, uh, BC. Um, so there we go, interesting times. Oh, here we are with chat and religious studies on the Dust514 channel, but there we go. Um, interesting stuff, I guess, is going to happen. Um, the only game I could think of that was close to it was StarCraft, but it was really StarCraft 2 that was born, wasn't it? Another one, maybe, is Dota. If you remember, Dota was a mod for something something, which name escapes me, but uh, Dota was effectively just a mod created for um, lane-created games because people love lane-created games. And what was interesting was um, that the game kind of was very successful then it died and then it got its own game uh dota 2 which um you know rise of the ancients or some nonsense so you know to me that's probably the one i could think of yes i had to chase him down and melee him i had to so there we go um i think there's not many games that ever kind of resurge back into life um probably one that does spring to mind is syndicate if you remember Syndicate, good game actually, pretty good game. Um, didn't do terribly well when it was released though. It actually failed pretty badly. Um, not the most enjoyable game as well. I think it could have been a lot better if anybody else in the world ever had done it. It just seemed whoever did it was just a bit of a knob and it didn't really work. So there we go. Anyway, I'm not gonna review games because that's not what we do here. But um, I can't think of too many places where um, the game has kind of been killed off and then become something else. In fact, I can't think of any. So post in the comments, can you think of any? I can't think of any games where literally they took the game, switched it off, redesigned it, and then released it again, but not as a sequel. Okay, so this isn't Dust, Dust 2.0. It's not meant to be. So post in the comments, I can't think of any. I'm sure there are. Um, 
oh, just know, back of my mind, I know there's loads, but I just can't think of any. But there we go. And I think that's it's an interesting difficulty for CCP is, you know, they probably don't want to call it Dust 2 because obviously the reviews for Dust 1 were so shit that it just didn't get a good review at all, which I think was harsh, really, when you think about it, because it's funny, a lot of gaming press, are e they're, they're just like those kind of eight-year-old children who were very easily impressed by colours and movement. And I suspected, you know, at the time when people were reviewing um, Dust, rather, they what they effectively were also seeing was games like Battlefield 4, and uh, you know, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty, all of that bollocks. And I think just they looked at it and said, do you know what? No, no. And I, it's funny because in critics, being a critic of something is is actually quite an important job. But it's just a shame that people who become critics are people who never can create anything themselves. And I find that the saddest part of the whole game, that just so many people don't, they don't understand what they're criticizing. Okay, now a real big kind of offender for this is one particular YouTuber who I'm not gonna mention because they piss me off. But they're a big one, and they just you know they they think they're a self-appointed you know authority on uh, gaming and what it means and all this. And um, for me, YouTube is not an authority on gaming. If you want to become an authority on gaming, you start a magazine and a website, and you become a proper entity. Now I hate all of these YouTubers who only do YouTube, but they now consider it a business. The Fine Brothers, for example, God, they piss me off. Because all they really want to do is to claim that they're this business, this big business. And it's like, you're using YouTube to do it. Go and start your own website and video and magazines and you know TV series and do it on there. Don't do it on YouTube, which is not a, a appropriate place for people trying to become the next you know, NBC. YouTube is here for people like me who want to do videos in my spare time and hobby for you to watch because you like something. And let's face it, Dust514 would never have a TV program, nor would Eve Online. But on, on uh, YouTube, it can have a little fun, simply created, you know, um, creator's den of people who want to create content and celebrate these things and I think there is a massive difference between people who do this for a living versus people who don't and coming back to my reviews comment there's a lot of people who you know sit on YouTube yes they could have a million subscribers but that doesn't mean they know what the flip they're talking about and that becomes for me a big issue because I think too many of the the bigger quote YouTubers have real you know scope and scale with their reach and then all they do is they just shit on on stuff you know you're not going to get a good amount of views for a video where you're nice about something you get views for when you're a dick about somebody and I can prove this because when I did my mint chip video that got thousands of views because people were raging and linking it to other people and you know and the way this works is that you know for every time somebody watches that video there is a chance an ad is shown in front of it and if somebody watches it or clicks it they basically that gives me revenue now some people who do this for a living rely on that. Therefore, everything they do is based upon getting views. So you're never getting an objective, realistic review of anything or discussion about anything. You're getting whatever they can think of that will get the most views, which usually is rage, hate, anger, bullshit, nudity, boobs. And these are all things that really do well on YouTube. And thankfully, I don't need the money for this. So what I do this for is to basically pay every so often for an upgraded bit of technology when something breaks. And that's all I do with it because we don't make money from this, not at all. But what we do do is we have fun doing it. And that has got to be the number one reason why you would do the channel. There we go, that was a strange rage. But anyway, it comes back to the review of Dust514 was deliberately harsh by people who probably should have tried to support it and didn't. Okay, so now you've got to say, well, what's in the interest of major reviewers to say that this is a good game? Well, you know, think about it from a general point of view. A lot of people were swayed by this not being a great game, therefore don't even try it. Now, any review that says don't bother trying it is a review that can go and kiss my ass because that is not objective. It's not subjective. It's not critical. It's just being a dick. This game needed somebody to say, I didn't like it, but do you know what? You might. You know, there's some clever ideas here. There's some interesting thought here. This is a, you know, CCP are a pretty, you know, respected developer. Let's see where they go with this, okay? But no, what they did, what most of them did was, this game's shit. It doesn't work. It's boring. 
it, blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. That's their right to say that. And by God, I'll defend that right to say that. But I'll also defend my right to say you're a <laughs> I almost swore that. You're a twat because that's not true. You know, there's, there's plenty more ways to say something needs to be better than just saying it's shit. Do you know what I mean? And this game suffered, I honestly believe, from that. You know, a lot of the reviews on PSN were pretty terrible as well. And that depressed me a bit because it's like there's no need to be a dick to ever. You know, a lot of people get such enjoyment from being a dick. And it just shows there's something wrong with your life if you enjoy being a dick for no reason whatsoever. Because things like this, this game, if you get enjoyment from it, you're not going to you're not going to understand why somebody else gets enjoyment from not, you know, enjoying it. It doesn't make any sense, does it? But there we go. Um, oh my god, I sounded like a right girl then, didn't I? But at the end of the day, it's all done and dusted now anyway. See what I did there. And to be honest, it doesn't matter. But I would love to have seen a little bit more, um, I think, support. And an interest from others, you know, in terms of the game and what it could have been, because I think just too many people, you know, didn't really didn't really get it, and that's a shame. There we go. Look at this. Hercules is called in a quaif a quaif lodgy a, a, a queef lodgy. Um, looks pretty looks pretty cool actually, doesn't it? I've no idea why that guy. I mean, this must be just one of his uh, subscribers very displeased with him because this guy just stood on his tank shotgunning him. It was bizarre. It was it was pretty funny. Um, but, you know, there you go, what can you do? Um, so I think, you know, these are the end times of Dust. If you're not playing, come play. Um, you're going to miss it if you don't. And I think certainly if you just come forward, have one more game, just remind yourself what the fun it could have been, and then get ready for what is going to be Eve 2.0, Eve Revenant calling it now, because I think there is going to be you know an interesting game coming out of the ashes of this it probably will take a bit of time it won't won't be the most polished but you know what it might be actually quite fun so there we go hope you enjoyed that we will see you next time